How's it going guys? Dr. Adrian Chavez here with personaltrainingprep.com and today in this video I want to talk to you about muscle contraction types. So if you're taking the ACSM certified personal trainer exam you're gonna see this question on the exam no doubt. Uh, you're gonna have to know um, different muscle contraction types. You're gonna have to know eccentric, concentric, isometric and I highly doubt it but one of the things that's covered on the training materials is isokinetic. Okay, so I'm going to talk about these really quickly in this video uh, and give you guys a little bit of a demonstration so you can see visually exactly what those are. Um, so hopefully you get a little bit of a better understanding and you feel more confident going into the test. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the um, concentric contraction. So a concentric contraction by definition is a shortening of the length of the muscle. Okay, so that's any time a contraction occurs when the muscle is shortened. Another way that you might see it is when the um, force applied overcomes the, um, the weight, so the load. So when your force being applied to the load overcomes that load, the muscle shortens. Okay, so let me explain this uh, with a little bit of a visual here. So the concentric contraction of a bicep is when the arm is flexing, when the elbow is flexing. So as you can see, the biceps shortening as the elbow flexes. Okay. If I had a weight here, let's say I was holding a cable, and I was pulling at the cable, as my bicep uh, concentrically contracted, that would mean that the force being applied to the load, so the force that I'm creating with the bicep, is overcoming the force that's in my hand, or the, the, the load, the weight that's in my hand. So that's another way to look at it. So the force that is being applied is overcoming the load. Okay? The opposite of that is going to be eccentric contraction. And that's going to be completely the opposite. That's going to be on the other phase when the muscle is lengthening. So as my elbow is extending, my bicep muscle is lengthening and it's contracting eccentrically. When an eccentric contraction is occurring, that means the load is actually overcoming the force being applied on that load. So let me go ahead and explain that. If the load here, let's say I had 200 pounds and I couldn't lift it, well, and I was applying as much force as I possibly could, but the load exceeded the amount of force production that I was creating with my bicep, that would result in an eccentric contraction and a lengthening of the muscle. Okay, so that's concentric contraction, shortening of the muscle, eccentric contraction, lengthening of the muscle. The next one is just very simple. It's uh, isotonic contraction, or isometric contraction, sorry. Um, and that means there's no change in the muscle length. Um, so that's, if you're doing a plank, for example, um, there's no change in the muscle length. So the load actually equals the force being applied, and there is stability. There's no change in the muscle length. So if I was holding the, the weight here, and I was holding it in a stable position, my muscle would still be contracted, but there would be no change in length. Um, because the force being applied by my bicep would be equal to the load that's that it's being applied to. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, I hope that really explains it a little more simply than reading through the book and trying to look at the pictures and trying to visualize that. I know that it can be very challenging um, just trying to study this ACSM material on your own. That's why I created a course um, that I call Master the ACSM CPT Exam where I offer many videos like this, uh, offer quizzes in direct access to me so I can ask questions, answer your questions and other students who will also help to guide you along your study. So if you're interested in that, um, go ahead and click on the links that I will have somewhere around here um, and you can check it out. There's a three day free trial, no obligation. You just sign up, check it out for three days. You'll get the first module for free. Uh, you get three days to go through it. If it's what you're looking for, um, then go ahead and sign up. But if not, no worries. Uh, I definitely have more videos that hopefully can help you out uh, in your studies and hopefully can make you feel a little bit more confident when you go into the exam and you get ready to take it. So I appreciate your time and I hope to talk to you soon.